Hey guys, what's up? Ruben here from Midnight Garage. I am currently on my way to Tactical Art, which as far as I know is an audio shop which builds really cool Hondas that are hopefully in better condition than this poor Honda step wagon that I can see right behind me. Although the CRZ is still in good shape, this one clearly has seen better days. Looks like it's been abandoned. Look at that. It truly is a shame. Hopefully the owner will at one point restore the car. But anyways, time to continue. Oh no, I'm ruining the shot. What's behind me? Ooh. Very cool. But you know what's even cooler than one GTR? How about two? I have mistaken. This is apparently a GT, but still very cool. Behind me is Tactical Art. I've just arrived. Now it's time to go inside and see if anybody's there. First up, an apology. One of my memory cards corrupted and I lost all of the footage of one of my cameras. Fortunately, I have used multiple cameras to capture things, so I did not lose everything. But if you feel like there should have been more shots, then you are absolutely right. But yeah, these things happen, can't really do much about that. When I arrived, I was greeted by three super friendly folks, namely Atsuki Tuboti, the master fabricator of tactical art, Mitsu Yoshi, who owned that awesome white classic skyline that you've seen just now, and Tactical Art Miku, which just so happens to be her Instagram name as well, because I know you guys are going to ask about that. The first car Atsuki wanted to show me was an awesome EK hatch featuring a K20 swap, but like I said, I have lost some footage, so I can't show you much more than this. It was super clean though, it was freshly painted with their signature dark grey engine base. And all I can say is check out their Instagram for more pictures of this car because it was awesome. However, me being me, I was instantly distracted with the CRX in the middle of the shop. This did not seem to be a regular Honda CRX, but rather a super rare CRX exclusive. Now, I am not quite sure if it was a real deal Honda CRX exclusive, but the guys over at Tactical Arts were not sure either, so if anyone has more info on this car, then post it in the comments. Part of the interior had been reupholstered, but given the color difference between the regular and reupholstered parts, I would say that at least a certain amount of genuine CRX exclusive parts were used here. It also was a black pre-facelift EF7 model, which also ticked all the right boxes. It did, however, not have a glass roof, so that might be an indicator that it's converted. But then again, I'm doing a glass roof conversion on one of my CRXs soon, so it's not impossible to think that it had been converted to a tin top later on. Next to the CRX we had a neon colored EK hatch race car. This one featured a B-series engine. Once again I'm super sad that I lost all the footage because this was a very cool car as well. But I am even more sad that I lost the footage of Atsuki's new track day Honda Civic EG. That thing was seriously next level and was almost completely made out of carbon fiber. It was absolutely insane. After checking out all the cars, I asked them if I could make a couple of drone shots and in contrary to the other shops I had visited before, they actually said yes. They told me that Miku had never seen a drone before, so we all went outside to see the drone in action. They even posted some of the pictures I made on their Instagram page, which I thought was really cool. Some of my friends had asked me to get a couple of tactical art decals, so I asked them if they had any for sale, and Atsuki said, yeah, sure, come over to the shop area and I'll grab you some. Now, I had already seen the shop area before in some Chronicles features, but I still had to say that it was very cool. It looked more like a lounge that just so happened to have a lot of Honda parts laying around. 
Tactical Art is known for mixing the Osaka Honda style with the USDM Showcar style and it was no surprise that you could find a lot of USDM parts for the Japanese customers here. They also had a lot of aftermarket parts which also seemed to fit with their JDM USDM style. They even had some lounge seats and a big TV with some classic consoles hooked up to it so they could call in some of their friends and play retro games. As you can see you're not so much a customer at Tactical Art but rather a part of their family. This was very clear to see when I I was there and they made me feel very welcome. I was very happy that I dropped by and next time I am in Osaka I will make sure to drop by again to see what they're building then. I also hope that I won't lose any of my files next time and I'll actually be able to show you guys more of the details of the cars. I'm just glad I had my GoPro on as a backup because otherwise I would have had almost nothing left. After that it was time for me to go home. So I grabbed my epic JDM bicycle, said thank you and goodbye to everyone and then I looked up some nice songs to get ready for the long trip back. So what did I get at Tactical Art? First up I got these very nice classic Tactical Art decals. I got these because I know that some of my friends really want to have Tactical Art decals on their car. And then next to the classic logo I also got the new revised logo. And then finally I got a cool Tactical Art lanyard. Now what did I think of the store? I liked it a lot. I think everybody who was there was very friendly. We had a really great time and we had a lot of fun. And yeah, like if you watch the Chronicles blog or something, you probably already know what to expect with tactical art. And it's pretty much that. So yeah, in the end, I can highly recommend it. I will post a screenshot of the location right now so you can see where to go if you're interested in going. And I will post a link of their website in the description so you can see the opening times and what they have for sale. So yeah guys, that's it for today. I hope you guys liked it. Leave a like if you did and hit subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this. And then hopefully we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.